Problem 35, OpenStax College Physics Textbook, Chapter 4. The question says, and I, I kind of rephrasing it, uh, a nurse pushes on a cart with a mass of 28 kilograms. She pushes down, or he, pushes down with some force at a 35 degree angle below the horizontal. I think that's what it said, below the horizontal. Let's see what that says. It says, 35 belief degrees below the horizontal. Okay. Uh, and there's a backwards pushing frictional force of 60 newtons. Now we're gonna do friction in the next chapter where we actually model friction, but right now we just know the magnitude of that. I've already put it as a vector and I've already determined the x directions that way. The question is what, draw a free body diagram, what force does she have to, or he, have to push with in order to move at a constant velocity? Let's do it. Okay, sometimes when I do that, it gives me like a thumbs up in the, there it goes, look at that. That's because I'm using an apple and it, it's kind of cool. Okay, let's start off with a free body diagram. So I'm again gonna draw my dot to represent my object. Uh, I don't need to draw the whole object. Again, later that will change. What long range forces are acting on the object? What force doesn't have to touch? And there's only one that you're gonna see almost all the time. Very rarely we see something else and that is the gravitational force interaction with the Earth. So I'm gonna write that as, uh, I'll, put that as I'll put it as MC. MC G, where G is the gravitational field, and it has a, a value of negative 9.8 newtons per kilogram Y hat in the Y direction. Next, I have the frictional force pushing back this way. So I've already put that there, so let's put F, friction. Uh, friction is a force that interacts parallel to the surface, okay, and in the opposite direction as the sliding or whatever. So there's some kind of sliding force here. It could be with the wheels. It doesn't really matter. Now, what else is touching the cart? Well, the nurse is touching the cart, so we can put that force on there. I'll put it like this. Fp for the push. And that angles, I'll just call that theta for now. That's 35 degrees. Now you see that we have a problem here. If those are our only forces and it's moving at a constant velocity, constant velocity means that the acceleration is zero and the net force has to be zero. There's no way the net forces are gonna be zero because there's nothing pushing up in this diagram. We have to have some upwards pushing force and that would be the force, the interaction force between the floor and the cart. Again, there's two forces. There's friction and then there's the normal force which is perpendicular to the surface. So we do have another force of constraint. I'll put it bigger like that. That's my free body diagram. Okay, so what, what's touching the cart? The nurse, the floor, and the floor. Three contact forces. What doesn't have to touch and exert a force? The gravitational force. You just have to practice making these free body diagrams, right? And it's, it's easy to put things in there that aren't really there, so just be careful. Uh, the next thing, I've already done this, kind of done this stuff. The next step, if we want to solve for an unknown force, we, there's really two kinds of problems. There's either here are all the forces, what's the acceleration, or there is here's the acceleration, what's some unknown force. In this case, we know the acceleration. zero, that's a zero vector means it's zero in both the x and the y direction, the acceleration is zero. So I can find out something about the unknown forces. Okay, to do that, I need to pick what direction my x and y axis are. So in this case, it probably makes sense to just call this the x direction and that direction. It, you don't have to do that, okay? You could do whatever directions you want. I'm gonna do that way, that makes the most sense. Because if I do that, I have N in the Y direction, F friction in the X direction, gravity in the Y direction, and I have to find components for that one. If I rotate the axis, I may have to find multiple components and just make my life more difficult. I like to have an easy life of physics because I love physics. Okay, so let's, we have the free body diagram. Uh, we have this, which says F net total is zero. So I can write that as two uh, scalar equations. I could write that as F net X equals
equals zero, f net y equals zero. And it turns out that we only need one of those, but I'm going to write them both down. Okay. So let's write down the x equation, I'll write down the y equation, and then we'll solve for what we don't know. So in the x equation, I need to go through here and say, what are the x components of all my forces? Well, the normal force is in the y direction. It's not pointing in the x direction at all. And same with the gravitational force. So these two have a zero uh, x component, no x component. Now, but this one, let me just draw that force right here. It looks like this, Fp, theta. So this is Fpx, that's an x. This is Fpy. So you'll notice that the x component is the adjacent side to that right triangle, so we're going to use cosine, and it's in the positive x direction. The y component is, in, is the opposite side of that right triangle, but it's in the negative direction, so we're going to make sure that's negative. So I can find that for my x forces. F net x is going to be Fp, which I don't know the value of Fp, cosine 35. So the 35 came from the problem up there. And then I have this frictional force. I'm just going to say minus F friction equals zero. And you can see right here that I could solve for the thing I don't know, right? I know 35. I know that 60. The only thing I don't know is this. But I, and I'm going to solve for that. But I'm going to write down the other equation too, okay? Um, so let's write down the Y equation. So what's, what forces are in the Y equation? F net Y. Well, I have the normal force pushing up. It's all in the Y direction. So that'd be in. I have the gravitational force all in the y direction, minus mcg, because it has a negative y component. That has a zero y component. It's not pushing in the y direction at all. And then here I have a y component of the push force using the opposite side. It's going to be sine. That's going to be minus fp sine of 35. And again, the acceleration is zero in the y direction, so that those have to add up to zero. Now, I can't use this equation to solve for FP because I know 35, I know G, I know the mass, but I don't know the normal force. I don't know that. So in this equation I have two things I don't know. Uh, here I only have one thing I don't know. So we're going to use this one to solve for FP. Uh, did the problem ask for, did it ask for, no it didn't. Well, I'm going to solve for the normal force too because it's fun. Okay, so over here I'm going to add F friction to both sides, I get Fp cosine 35 equals F friction, and then I can divide by cosine 35, and I get Fp equals F friction over cosine 35, and that's going to be 60, that was the frictional force, over cosine 35. So let's put that in our calculator and get our value right there. Make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. 60, enter, 35 cosine divided by, I get 73.2. Okay, now let's, let's find this normal force. So I'm going to solve this equation for the normal force. I'm going to add mcg and fp sine theta both sides, and I get n fp sine 35 plus plus mc G. And if I put in my values, I have Fp is 73.2 sine of, that's a 35, 35 plus 28 times 9.8. And I get 73, 35 sine times 28. 9.8 times plus 316.4. So that's that's the force that the nurse pushes. That's the normal force. The end. And notice that in the original problem, we didn't actually need to know the mass. We it was given to us. That doesn't mean that we have to use it. It didn't show up in the equation, so the end.